Ah, the first is a doozy. Can OSTP have any contact with China under the language of the FY 2011 uh, Appropriations Act? Uh, as many of you know, there's a section in that act that uh, was, was written to constrain both NASA and the OSTP from science and technology bilateral cooperation with China. Uh, there was an interaction about that in the uh, hearing I had before the CJS Appropriations Subcommittee yesterday. And I am uh, certainly free to say uh, in this public forum what I said in that public forum, which is uh, that, that we intend uh, to comply with those restrictions except where they infringe on the President's constitutional prerogatives to conduct foreign diplomacy. And some of the things we are doing uh, with China, uh, we believe if we curtailed them, would infringe on those constitutional prerogatives uh, of the President. So we will be in continuing discussion with, uh, with the Congress and with the legal authorities in the executive branch uh, about those determinations. Uh, can you comment on the level of transparency by Japan in its, uh, in its nuclear crisis? Uh, yes, I can. I have been very much involved in the administration's uh, response to uh, the Japan nuclear situation. I would say the level of transparency has been uh, extraordinarily good, really. Uh, naturally, in such a complicated event, there have been moments uh, when we thought we might not be uh, hearing everything from the Japanese that they knew. But in fact, um, we have had representatives of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission in place with the Japanese team uh, managing this situation from very early in the game. Uh, we have gotten extraordinarily detailed reports daily, in fact, multiple times daily, uh, from the Japanese authorities. Uh, we've been in continuous contact uh, by telephone conference call with the leaders of the Japanese operation. Secretary Chu and I uh, stood up at the very beginning an informal advisory group uh, of uh, scientists and engineers, uh, expert in nuclear accident uh, prevention and mitigation uh, that has been uh, interacting initially every day and now uh, by a conference call twice a week. And that group has been interacting uh, intensively uh, with the Japanese authorities. I think we basically uh, know everything they know. Uh, one of the problems in this kind of situation is that nobody knows everything we need to know because it's extremely difficult uh, to operate and observe in that uh, high radiation environment. We'll, we'll be hearing more about that later in the meeting. Right. Okay, I got another one here. Has the President's emphasis on seeking scientific input and promoting science and technology investment had any measurable effects on public opinion of science or scientific uh, literacy? Um, I am not a pollster. Um, there are some in the White House, you won't be surprised to learn, but they've mostly been focused on other questions lately. Um, it is my uh, continuing impression that scientists are held in higher regard today, as they have been over decades, by the American public than virtually any other group. Uh, whether we've lost a few points or gained a few points, you know, in the last year or so, I can't be sure because I don't follow it that closely, but I do know uh, that, that science uh, and scientists uh, continue to be held in high regard, uh, except perhaps by the faction uh, who don't believe in climate science. Um, and a few other things. And, yes. a, and a few other things. Yeah, well, I, I should, t with, with Nina here, I should tell uh, the story again of a conversation I had with the president some time ago about this. I was trying to console the president that the uh, public support for the view that the climate is changing and humans are causing it fell a few points during the uproar over the uh, stolen emails from the University of East Anglia and the uproar over uh, a couple of mistakes in the IPC. As I said to the president, you know, the good news is that uh, we still have far more Americans who believe that climate change is real than Americans who believe that evolution is real. And the president looked at me, he looked at me and he said, that's no consolation. <laughs> Um, will scientific integrity draft policies be made public in 90 days? Is there an implementation plan? What is your thinking on ensuring public accountability? Why not lay out a comprehensive schedule? I don't think that's one question, but, um, and it's, 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 it's a hard one. 
there is an implementation plan. We plan to work uh, very energetically with the agencies once they submit their draft policies uh, to improve those policies and turn them into final ones. Uh, in terms of ensuring public accountability, we are already, uh, I think, doing an extraordinary amount uh, by making information available uh, on the web in a way that's never happened before, among others. Uh, why, not, why not lay out a comprehensive schedule? Uh, well, we may well do that. I've already been the victim, though, of one comprehensive schedule in which I was told to have a policy in 120 days and took me a year and a half. Um, and so my enthusiasm for that approach has somewhat diminished. Uh, but um, we will do uh, everything that we, uh, that we legally can. I'm not sure exactly what the status of drafts is versus finals, but we are taking this very seriously and um, we are going to get it done.